Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh um, We are from Group 5A And we are going to present uh, our MEC Fasi Zero Assignments Which is Industrial Project Before that, I would like to thank our lecturer Which is Dr. Asan Akila For assisting us uh, while doing this assignment First of all, I would like to introduce my group members The first one is Wan Zuhani bin Wan Suhaidi The second one is Muhammad Anik Rifki bin Muhammad Azmi Then Muhammad Fahmi bin Azari Muhammad Fazilah bin Ahmad Nizam, myself and Haiman Ashraf bin Bahari Now I'm going to explain how we distribute our work among ourselves So for one Zuhal and me, he covers introduction of the company Second, products produced Third, bending and coiling Then lastly, punching, stamping and drilling process Then for Muhammad Ani Rifki, he covers expanding and swagging, bidding and dimping Then discussion For Muhammad Fahmi, he covers material use cutting and buffing process and continuous quality improvement Then for me, I cover distribution of work, washing, packing and delivery then the problem faced by the company Then lastly for Fahma Ashraf, he covers fairing, coloring and and for me, raising and assembly As a introduction for our site visit we had chosen the Hewa company Why we choose this company? This is because it, Hewa Company is a leading manufacturer of the precisive metallic components for air conditioner, heater, machinery and tools. Uh, Hewa Company is established in 1995. Their objective to continue provide customer with components and parts of the exceptional design and manufacturing quality. Uh, another objective is to design and manufacture and deliver components leveraging rest uh, practice and international standards Hewa Company is a well-known company manufacturing they have achieved many awards uh, when they established until now they have many well-known clients that we know today such as the Panasonic's, York and Daikin Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh My name is Muhammad Fahmi bin Azhari And today I would like to talk about the material used in the manufacturing process So before we start with the manufacturing process First I would like to explain about the material used in order to make the product Which is a component Rod or coil made of copper Was supplied to them by the supplier in various dimensions Depending on the customer need Such as 0.8 and 0.7 in diameter As you can see from this picture They have a facility of their own where they store the material before proceeding onto the cutting parts. Uh, that's all for the material material use. We move to the cutting process. Okay, now I would like to talk about cutting and buffing process. Cutting and buffing is a general process for most component before transitioning to further process. Metallic parts, mainly copper. Uh, that make up the component are precisely cut according to the design and buffed properly utilizing various industry standards and also in-house development machine were used depending on measurement, accuracy and speed requirement uh, The Heiwa Songyo company has both auto and semi-auto machine such as CNC straightening and cutting machine and semi-auto buffing machine Uh, usually, they use semi-auto cutting machine when the part still doesn't in their desired dimension, but in small parts. Now, I will explain how the bidding and dimming process used in the industry. The process are to create this tool or use as a clamping by modifying the tip to serve in the final assembly component or further application. The bidding process is conducted with the form of a bit at the end of the tube to help hold like a hose while the dipping process is a normal cold roll forming process that involves dipping of a roll flat strip prior to the roll forming operation This process in the Hewa industry was performed either in a semi-auto or manual depends on the condition required to solve for me in this process of explanation process are an action to make the present process much more easy. The process is conducted when needed to connect the tube together 
especially with their retail different for each tube. The end of the tube will be expanded or swept, followed by the requirement needed. The product then will be braced, either using reducer or without any additional components. And that's all for me for this process explanation. Next, manufacturing is the bending and the coiling. This process, as the name suggests, are performed to alter the flow of direction of the tube or to be used for cooling process repeatedly. The measurement including the angle and the bending points are decided using the engineering specs confirming to the customer requirement. Uh, there are types of machine used for this process include so as like the CNC bending and the coiling machine and seam bending machine and the lastly is manual bending and the cooling machines. Uh, for the bending and coiling machine can look in this both future both image in this slide. Uh, the company is also using manufacturing such as the punching, stamping and the drilling. Punching and stamping process are required to make the precise holes at the specific points on the tubes or components according to the designs. Punching can be done for low volumes uh, while the stamping is speeds up the process for high volume orders by using the custom made dies. Punching is also used for making copper caps for closing tubes ends uh, and for certain extreme requirements such as the tube and the hole cutting, the drilling machine suits the test. Uh, so these three images is represent the punching, stamping and the drilling process. Hello, my name is Paiman Ashraf Bimbari. I will explain about the flaring, coloring and informing process. This process are conducted depending on the requirement of the individual component and they require high precision machines. The flaring process is performed to basically prevent leakage at the connection points between tubes. Uh, furthermore, the coloring process strengthens the joining points and allow for connecting less joints. We are, they also perform full close or half close and forming for certain tube types if the requirements. The next process is uh, brazing and assembly. The individual component that have gone through several of the process before will be braced and assembled at this point to make the final completed component. Most of them are braced, are braced manually using brazing torch due to unique specification and high attachment quality requirement. The completed components are also lit test before proceeding to the next stage. So after they are braced and assembled, they will test the component if uh, either they are lit or not to make sure the component is high quality. Now I'm going to explain to you about washing, packing and delivery process. So we can say that washing is the last process when the products will be washed and produced for both functional and aesthetic reasons. The washing process involves the use of chemicals which is 3 chloroethylene to remove grease on components which are properly disposed to comply to ISO 14001 standard. Next, how the packaging process is handled and how the way to receive their products depends fully on the requirements for the, from the customers as each customer has unique needs and demands. Delivery, the products also available which is by lorries and containers within Peninsula Malaysia and export via ship or air freight. Next, I will explain about the design concept. The company manufacture internal, external and other products used in multitude of industrial and household environment. The company have uh, some major components of companies but they are not limited to the same categories. They continually designing and producing new components for various customer application areas. Quality assurance is set of plan activities within the component or product manufacturing process. The quality assurance is performed to prevent any defects before they occur during the manufacturing process. The quality assurance is different from the quality control. Quality control uh, is set of activities that carried out to verify the developed product meets the required standards. Uh, it means the quality control, we inspect the product that has been manufactured while 
the quality assurance is we make sure that there are no defects before when the manufacturing process starts. Hewa Company has uh, Hewa Company have produced many products in their company, such as the AC indoor units components. Uh, as we can see in this image, they had uh, building the evacuator coils and the capillary tubes. They also involved in its AC outdoors unit and VRF components, uh, such as the condenser coil and the distributor components. Next is the chiller and freezer components. Uh, as we can see in this image, is the comp compressor components and the silencer components. Last but not least, uh, they are also involved in the water heater components, such as the temperature plates and the bus uh, pipes. Then we proceed to the problems that commonly occur in this company's manufacturing process. Usually, the problem is when the machine is broken and need to fix by the mechanics. During that time, the production may become slower for certain times. Then defects after undergo process also usually happen in the production. Lastly, because of human error, some products that going through visual inspection may be overlooked. So, as you can see, this is some problems or defects that usually happen uh, after the process, uh, which is process raising and bending. So, for raising, uh, usually uh, overburning, leakage, blow holes, and larger solder joints. And for bending, usually happen is patterning, kinking, and rippling. Uh, in this site visit, we have discussed and compared the more suitable process that can be operated than from the hero industries. So, as we can see on the slide, we compare the polishing process with the buffing process, which run by the hero industry, and agree that the polishing process is much more suitable than the buffing process. This due to the polishing can create a smooth and shiny surface to the product due to the use of the chemical while the buffing process use loose abrasive on the wheel and still may leave unsmooth surface. Moreover, the polishing process does not require a skilled worker to operate the process than buffing process. Next, we also agree that the soldering process are more suitable than brazing process this is due to the lower temperature operated by the soldering process than the abrasion process. Therefore, lead to the lower energy consumption and then lowering the cost. Even though the soldering process also has the same advantage as the abrasion process, included can join in the similar material and in very fine thickness. However, the soldering process have a less chance of damaging the parts than the abrasion process due to the lower temperature. We also discuss about the other product that can be produced with the process that operate in the hewa industry. We determine that such as metal housing and enclosures, automotive parts, cabinet, hollow steering column, and etc. can be produced with the process such, such as bending, stamping, raising, and any other process that operates in the hewa industry. Uh, from here, there are three continuous quality improvement that we can suggest in order to improve the manufacturing process. Uh, firstly, by using AI for quality inspection. In the Hewa Songyo factory, they manually check the product after the product were made. Instead of this, they should use automatic checking or computer AI to check the quality of the product to avoid rejection or refund of the product from the customer. And the second one is regularly checking the machine. The day when we visit the factory, they still have a machine that are in repair. When asked, the machine are unable to work. Instead of only repairing the machine when the machine broke down, uh, why not regularly check the machine to make sure the machinery was in excellent working order every day? And the third one is use robotic welding. Uh, robotic, we robotic welding can significantly lower product defect rates. Robotic weld quality is dependent on both high quality material and the reliable process. However, once these problems are systemized, a robotic welding device can produce weld of extraordinarily high quality and efficiency, uh, noticeably more reliable than even the most skilled welders. Uh, that's all for Sigway.